Do you have it? Hubava Rabita Malik. You've done very well, Tessa. Our plan to use Mr. Coyle's security clearance to get what we want has worked perfectly. His daughter interrupting our date actually makes it easier. We'll be long gone before anyone realizes the prototype is missing. Let's go. What are you doing? This was a bad idea. It isn't right. <laughs> what? I... I can't do this. What do you mean you can't do this? You've been training for this for years. Our people expect us to deliver the weapon. But I think... What? You are a young girl. It's not your job to think for yourself. I've heard that my entire life. Until my friends here convinced me I should start. This weapon could hurt a lot of innocent people. Tess. Go away, Ember, please. I'm not going anywhere. You're right. You don't have to do this. You need to walk away. Now. You have no idea what she's capable of. I don't want you to get hurt. We're running out of time, Tessa. Give me the prototype. You're gonna have to get by me. And trust me, I'm a lot tougher than I look. What's going on here? Oh, Dr. Crawford, am I happy to see you? The child is having second thoughts, and this one knows everything. Okay, feeling a little less happy. Tessa, dear, you don't know what you're doing. We're all you've got. We're your family. You're not my family. You recruited me. I work for you, that's all. Enough! I won't have these children ruin everything I've worked for. I'm sorry I've been lying to you. How about we talk about this later? Take the prototype. By force if you have to. Run! No te metes conmigo! I didn't know you knew martial arts. I don't. But whoever came around that corner wouldn't know that. Well, the rooftop bust was another mistake. But at least Mr. Coyle's safe. Oh, we're back to where we started? Not so fast. Split up. We have to find the prototype. Ruining my dad's life. Uh, by the way, I owe your mom a huge apology. Yeah, I was about that. She's not my mom. Wait, what? Tessa, open the door! No! Can't turn back now. You're part of this. Now give us the prototype. You have the prototype? Whoa. It's the perfect ecosystem with amazing biodiversity. There's epiphytes and euphorbia and eucalypti. Oh, this is a dream. Nice. Addison? Oh, it's like heaven. <gasps> Wait, have I been recycled? Welcome, agents to the birding ceremony for Agent Maddie McAllister. Please step forward. Today, our Innovate Sisterhood honors you from all over the world. Agent McAllister, you are being given this coveted award not only for the enormous heroism and sacrifice you showed, going deep undercover and risking your life to bring down Craig and Vex, for how you encompass all that the women of this organization represent. Intelligence, poise, and strength. From this day forward, you will be known as the Nighthawk. <laughs> Who among you would stand beside the Nighthawk as her witness? Congratulations.
<laughs> Agent Michaela McAllister, will you please step forward? Agent McAllister, you are being given this coveted award, not only for your unwavering devotion to and faith in your sister and fellow agent, and for risking your life to save hers, but for your wisdom and leadership. You really do define smart is the new cool. <laughs> From this day forward, you will be known as the Owl. <laughs> yes. Who among you will stand beside the owl as her witness? <laughs> Congratulations. I am so proud of you. Dr. Crawford, I'm Federal Agent DeFazio. This is Agent Feeney. We have some questions about the recent break-in here at Space Inc. And the whereabouts of one of your employees who may be a possible suspect. Certainly. Uh, I'm sorry, but you both seem awfully young to be federal agents. We're a part of the New Youth Government Task Force, ma'am. That's all we could say for now. Feel free to call this number at the Bureau. Should we put your mind at ease? Actually, I have a contact there myself. Agent Dale Cooper? If you don't mind. Don't mind at all. Cooper's a good man. Just make it quick. Our nation's security is at risk. I'm sure you understand. Five, 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 seven, seven, four, three. Got it! We're in! And we control the phone line. Voice altering app ready? You're all set! Special Agent Cooper's office. Why can the British accent? You want it official? Everything sounds official in England. Yes, this is Dr. Allison Crawford at Space Inc. I need authorization from Agent Cooper regarding to... Agent Cooper's in a high-level security meeting right now. Wants to confirm Agents DeFazio and Feeney have arrived. They have. <laughs> Professor Cato did tell me the prototype could be very dangerous, but I can't believe he'd try and steal it. That's why his disappearance is a cause for concern. If he's innocent, he's got nothing to hide. But in the wrong hands, the research could be used as a weapon, making its owner very powerful. If the professor contacts you, you'll let us know? Of course. One more thing. We've learned Olivia James is coming to Space Inc. to improve the menu for mission to Mars. Uh, yes. Is she a suspect? Not at the moment. But... Do you have any idea what type of culinary delight she may enjoy? We're through here. It was worth a shot. These wires simulate the feeling of being in low gravity. Ember and Tessa will be practicing the bunny hop, the slow motion jog, and the side to side. All of these maneuvers were used by our Apollo astronauts for their walk on the moon. Whoa! Uh oh! Dude, that right there is why Neil Armstrong called it one small step for man. You're getting it, Tessa. Come on, girl. Follow my lead. Excellent. And that right there is why we can now call it one giant leap for womankind. Son, you just got school. And then you pour in a quarter cup of flour, two dashes of cinnamon, dash, dash, and shake it up. Now, the pen, roll it, dust it, take the tape, press down lightly, pat, 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 and voila, the print. Rad, homemade fingerprint kit. Capturing fingerprint. And it's great for jewels. We got a partial print. And a partial.
commercial match. <laughs> go us! Go us! Go you! Go you! Now we can tell people that Mikhail's the bad guy. Girl. I don't know. If this girl's really involved in something as huge as threatening the prince's flight, I think we're gonna need more proof than a partial print. Then I guess we're gonna have to catch this Mikhail McAllister in the act of doing something worth catching. Not yet. Can you sec out of them? I want to check the news before reporting back to headquarters. Sweet, but I wish we could get a peek inside. Remember that fancy pen I gave her in class? Mm -hmm. Camera pen! <laughs> Sorry, Michaela. The quail wants to brief you on the mission status right now. The quail? That must be like a coding for the evil mastermind she's working for. I want one of those. I want one of those. Who the heck is this girl? Who wants to know? Ah! Spying on me? Please don't hurt us. We were just. Uh, just, um. Just, uh. Spying on me. Isn't that right, Adrian Adams? Or was it your idea, Bryden Bandwidth? <laughs> Yay, H A O S R N! <gasps> Elite is here at our school! say hi and he'd say I love your music and he'd say cool and we'd start snapchatting and texting and we'd follow each other on Instagram and people would think we were besties but we'd say it's nothing but it's actually something oh there's something all right Kim and I have loved Elite's music for so long I've studied it actually I broke down all their drops and listened to all their tracks you guys a musical genius my favorite is this is nothing what's yours Em? actually there's so many that I haven't heard I don't know their music. If only I were you to listen to their music again for the very first time. What's up, Maywood Glen Academy? It's good to be home. I miss you guys. I also miss my Grandma Joe's oatmeal cookies. I love you, Grandma. Anyway, as all of you know, we just came back from a very successful world tour. And as a way to thank our hometown, we will be giving a free concert at this very school. Hey, Michaela. Hey, Kyle. That's pretty cool of these guys to give a free concert, huh? Oh, yeah. You know, my brother and Eli were in a couple classes here together, and now Eli's a star, so kind of gives hope for average guys like me, huh? Not at all. What? No, I mean, you're not average, and you have a shot at being more than average. Oh, uh, yeah. Thanks? Um, that's encouraging. Uh, well, I'm just gonna quit while I'm ahead here, but, uh, see ya. <sighs> one step forward, two steps back. I think you mean two steps forward and one step back? I wish I did. But we will get there. And for our return home, we have amazing news, Maywood Glenn. To tell you all about it, I'd like to bring up the man of the hour. 
the man that made it all happen, our sponsor, Simon Temple! No way, no way! I can't believe Simon Temple is here! And they were glad! Just breathe, just breathe. Okay, too much breathing. Simon Temple is epic, and he's not even 30. He just made the annual list of global entrepreneurs under 30. He's worked with all the hot young innovators. Ricky Muller, Leah Busk, Lisa Luca. And one day I hope, me. Hey, uh, Devin, um, I don't have you down here for an audition. Because I'm not, I'm just doing a favor for Brie and Pam. I got these color filters for your light show. Trust me, you'll like it. Do we have a choice? Nope. Uh, it's Brian Cam. She does not care. Yeah, she still calls me Lyle. Yeah. Anyway, good luck. Yo, Camster Dan. Congrats on, if you're lucky, second place. <laughs> well, you know what else is number two, Justin? Yeah, let's not go there. He's just trying to get in your head. Well, it's working. He's in there. This is my one shot to make an impression on Simon Temple. What if he doesn't like what I've created? Are you kidding? Simon's gonna flip when he sees how insanely talented you are. Plus, with my EDM beats, we're gonna crush it. Circuit beats, you're up. <sighs> Let's do this. Go, girl! Yeah! Double.